Kendra Horn will take her seat in the U.S. House of Representatives next year. Oklahoma's lone contribution to the blue wave that flipped the House to Democratic control. Horn is the first Democrat to win the 5th District Congressional seat since 1975. Representative-elect Horn recently talked with ONR's Susan Cadeau in this ONR Extra about her new job in the nation's capital. Congresswoman-elect Horn, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here today. Well, let's dive right in. First of all, I'd like for you to go over quickly your background. Well, I am a fifth-generation Oklahoman, mm -hmm. born and raised here, and I'm a uh, an attorney and mediator. I've worked uh, with nonprofits and spent the last few years before I made the decision to run myself recruiting and training uh, women to run for office and encouraging people to use their voices in the process. Do you have um, a background in aerospace as well? I do, I do. I uh, spent some time on Capitol Hill when I was uh, younger and also spent a number of years in the space industry. I worked uh, with an organization that focused on uh, space, as in outer space, across all the different sectors. We worked with NASA, NOAA, uh, national security space, commercial space. It was it was a great opportunity. And as you probably know, aerospace is one of the largest mm -hmm. uh, industries in Oklahoma in the 5th District. Yes. And so how do you feel the mantle you carry as the first Democrat in decades from this district to head to Washington and what's going on right now on the national political scene? How do you feel as you head to Washington as a voting member of Congress? Well, I am excited and I am honored and humbled by the, the fact that I was elected by the people to serve. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what got me into this. You know, my parents and grandparents always taught me if you see a problem, you can't complain about it unless you get to work to fix it. And I've just always been a solutions focused kind of person. And I think that we have more in common than we have different. But I am excited to work with a lot of people to address the issues. And as we're moving forward, my number one concern is how to best show up for all of the people of the 5th Congressional District, regardless of who they are, party, whether or not they voted for me. There's a lot that we can do, and I'm excited to get to work. At this point in time, what do you see as the biggest problems that need to be addressed for our nation? Uh, I think we've got a number of problems, mm -hmm. but we also have some good solutions. Throughout the campaign, the things I heard most often were people's concern about their education, mm -hmm. health care. Those are the core issues that we're still going to tackle. The cost of drugs that I've already started talking to some of my uh, soon-to-be colleagues about how we can begin to tackle that drug pricing, uh, how to address the opioid crisis, how to address the coming student loan crisis, and to ensure that the programs that we have that are supporting our schools here are funded, that people can get the job and skills training they need. What do you think of the uh, recent federal judge's ruling on the Affordable Care Act? That has caused a lot of controversy. He ruled it's being unconstitutional. Well, I am, I am concerned about how, how that's going to impact things because right. I know how important it is for so many people that came to me and that I talked to on the campaign trail to protect themselves so they can continue to get coverage because they have pre-existing pre conditions through no fault of their own. Uh, lifetime caps, the portability of insurance co coverage, we have to make sure that we're protecting those things and expanding people's access to care. And finally, how do you, how do you as a mediator, mm -hmm. address the divide, that the divisiveness in Washington when you go? One of the things that is most important is that we meet our friends and neighbors and we look them in the eye and we have conversations because mm -hmm. over and over again, I found that we've got more things that we can agree on and relate to than that we disagree on. And if we're having those conversations, and that's why I plan to be present in the community as much as possible, I've already met with uh, a wide variety of uh, individuals and organizations, and that's how we come to better solutions. And I'm going to bring those skills to the table and uh, see what we can do to actually make some change. All right, Congresswoman-elect Kendra Horn, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much.